Good day, everyone. I'm Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador in the University of Technology, Jamaica, and mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. Today, we'll be looking at a CAPE integrated mathematics question in module one of the syllabus, which is Foundations of Mathematics. And the topic today is determinant of a three by three matrix. So here we have a question which says, find the determinant of the matrix A, which is equal to two, one, negative one, three, negative two, negative one, one, zero, two. We know that this matrix A is a three by three matrix because it has three rows and three columns, all right? And we are supposed to find the determinant of this matrix. So let me write solution. Now the method that I'm going to show you is by using Saros rule, all right? So using Saros rule, all right? Using Saros rule. So let me just scroll down a bit. Okay, good. So the first thing that we're going to do is just write the elements of the matrix, all right? So in the first column, all right, C1, that's the first column, we have two, three, one, all right? And in the second column, actually, let me just give it a bit more space. In the second column, we have one, negative two, zero. And in the third column, we have negative one, negative one, and two. All right, those are the elements in the first column, second column, and third column. All right, so the next thing that you are to do now is to repeat the first and second columns. So I'm gonna write the first column again, which is two, three, one, and the second column is one, negative two, zero, all right? Good. So the next step that you are to do now, so we want the determinant of A. So the next step is to find the product of the diagonals. All right. So let's look at it. So we're going to find the product of this diagonal here. All right. We're going to look at that diagonal. So that is going to be two multiplied by negative two multiplied by two, all right? Then we're gonna focus on the other diagonal. So plus the product of the other diagonal, which is going to be one, negative one, and positive one, all right? That diagonal there. So what we have now is one. So we now have one multiplied by negative one multiplied by one, all right? Plus the product of the other diagonal. So, so there are going to be three diagonals, all right? The last diagonal here now is negative one, three, and zero. All right, that's the other diagonal. So what we have now is negative one times three times zero. All right, good. Now you're going to subtract the product of the other diagonals. So let me put this one in green for you now. So the first diagonal is going to be one, negative two, and negative one, all right? So what we have now is one multiplied by negative two multiplied by negative one, plus the product of the other diagonal, which is going to be zero multiplied by negative one and two. So that's the diagonal that we're looking at now. So what we have now is zero 
multiplied by negative one multiplied by two. All right, good. Now there's one more, one more diagonal that we need to focus on. There's one more. So let me write plus here. The last diagonal is going to be the two, three, and one. All right, that's the last diagonal that we'll be working with. So now we have two multiplied by three multiplied by one. All right, and we have our bracket. So that will be our determinant value. Let us now simplify a bit. So this is now equal to two multiplied by negative two multiplied by two. That will give us a negative eight. All right. One multiplied by a negative one multiplied by one. That will give us a negative one. Negative one times three times zero. That will give us zero. All right. Minus the one times negative two multiplied by negative one. All right, that will give you a positive two. Plus zero multiplied by negative one multiplied by two, that will give us zero. And we have one more product to evaluate, which is two multiplied by three, two multiplied by three multiplied by one. So that will give us six. All right, plus six. Good. So let us now simplify further. So let me scroll down. So our determinant of A is equal to negative eight minus one. There's zero there, but you know you don't have to write the zero. Now this negative sign is going to be distributed to each term inside the brackets. So what we have now is a negative two minus six. All right. Now, all you have to do is just put that value in your calculator and you should get a negative 17. Negative 17. All right. So the determinant of A is equal to negative 17. And that is our solution to this question. All right. So we have just found the determinant of this three by three matrix using the Saros rule. So you write down the, the columns, all three columns of the matrix, then you repeat the first and second column, and then you find the product of the diagonals. All right? If this video was helpful for you, please ensure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. All right? And also comment down below. I'm Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador for the University of Technology Jamaica and mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. I thank you for joining.